How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Rising Oblivion, and guys, we have reached record sales when it actually comes to the Persona series. A lot of this having to do with Persona 4 Golden coming out on Steam, but let's go over the numbers here and actually talk about what this means for the company, what it means for Sega, what it actually means for Atlas as well as a company. We have reached record high sales with over 300,000 copies of the Persona series sold between July and September this year. Like I said, a lot of that being because of Persona 4, but we have things like Persona 5 Scramble as well coming into play and Persona 5 Royal as well. The fan base has reached all new limits, all new heights. It's actually a really exciting time to be a just Atlas fan in general when it comes to just any of their games in terms of what is going on. It's super exciting, a super fun thing to look at, and I thought this would be a pretty interesting video to see just what the sales are like and just how many people out there have been buying games from this series just for such a long time. I think 2020 is definitely a year where a lot of people have been inside, they've been gaming, so I think a lot of the sales might be because a lot of people are just trying to find really fun games to play, and these games are absolutely perfect for that. So let's go over some of what we have here. Like I said, over 300,000 units sold in pretty much just July to September alone. A lot of that being from Persona 4 Golden on PC, Persona 5 Royal, Persona 5 just a standard game, Persona 5 Scramble, Phantom Strikers with 1.2 million units sold for the Persona series during the first quarter of the series. So that's 1.5 million sales just in this year alone when it comes to the Persona series and most of them doing with those games in specific with 500,000 players in the Persona 4 Golden fan base. The Vita version of Persona 4 Golden was 1.5 million so the fan base for just Persona 4 Golden in general jumped up by 25% just from it coming onto PC. That's pretty insane. <laughs> Going from 1.5 mil to just immediately 2 million over just one month. Just July alone is pretty much enough to increase the sales for Persona 4 Golden by 25%. 25% increase in the actual just fan base alone, which is pretty nuts to think about when it actually comes to stretching a company and making it bigger. The release for Persona 4 Golden on Steam generated approximately 2 billion yen, which is 19 million US dollars for the company in just June alone. So that really has to show a big sign, at least to Sega, the parent company when it actually comes to Atlas. They bought them out in 2013 and they are a parent company to them. That has to send some good flags over to Sega because Sega is trying to branch out. They've been adding new stuff to Game Pass, like some of the Yakuza games. They've been bringing some other games to certain other streaming platforms, some other services. With Persona 4 Golden being sort of one of the experiments they had on releasing another game on Steam. They're trying to branch out and they're trying to spread their IPs across new platforms. And those $19 million in sales just June alone by putting Persona 4 Golden on Steam has to be a good thing and has to mean really good stuff for us as a consumer and what that means that sega is going to do with the atlas's ips we could be seeing a lot more ports a lot more things coming to things like steam and other platforms it makes sense why now we're getting that smt3 remake on the switch and playstation why the production of other games are going to be pushed and why they wanted to know whether or not the fans would actually like to have more ports and whatnot and of course a resounding yes to all of that when it came to even just SMT, all that stuff in general. The Catherine full body remake more than likely had a lot to do with that as well with Sega wanting to push more of their IPs across. What ends up happening a lot of times is Atlas ends up releasing a lot of these games and they don't think it's going to do well and it does absolutely amazing. And they're like, well, you know, we could have done that a little bit better. And then they end up releasing a remastered version, which is why a lot of times I think we end up seeing a Persona 4 Golden or a Persona 5 Royal where they add more content to it, which I think personally ends up being so much better because we get more music to the game, we get more characters, more fun overall, just even more enjoyable experience than we had already had before. I know some of you guys out there stand just regular vanilla Persona 5, and that's absolutely okay. I mean, you get to choose which one you want to play, but yeah, an absolute big increase when it actually just came to sales in general. And this last little note here I wanted to talk about is there was 11.1 million units shipped worldwide in December 2019. 
this year alone we have increased by almost 3 million more units when it came to the Persona series. So somewhere around now, we're somewhere around 13 to 14 million units sold in the Persona series ever since the inception of Persona Revelations, all the way back to the original, technically Shimogami Tensei Persona game, all the way back to then, before there was even Peace Studios or anything else at all, there was this whole wide range of games that we've had so far and 13 million copies is what we're currently sitting at and it's probably generate a lot of money for sega which is a good thing to see but we jumped from last year being around somewhere around 11 million to now being at 13 to 14 million with the year not even technically over yet so who knows we might have increased by 20 percent or more the sales just for the Persona series alone within just this year. It makes me think, what would have happened if Persona 5 Strikers, if what's what's called here in English or whatever, or Persona 5 Scramble, I wonder what would have actually happened to the sales of this year if that game released when it was technically supposed to release, or if it would have just had a better time in development what would have happened like would we be seeing like the company just being like we're porting every single game ever now it's doing so well i really want to know what sega's reaction to that would have been because i do think that they underwhelmingly do not know how strongly we would want to see more atlas ips i'm not even sure if atlas themselves necessarily knows how much we would like to see remasters of older smt games Persona games, Persona 3, me in particular, from what I've heard, Persona 3 is one of the absolute best JRPGs out there ever, yet it's so difficult to play it. You have to pull out a PS2 or pull out a PS3 that is able to backwards compatible, have it with a disc, or you somehow can go to the PlayStation Store and download it, but it just is different. You're playing on an HDTV when those are sort of meant for RAC TVs. It doesn't really work too well. You have to change the format ratio of it or find some sketchy like PC port of it that doesn't quite run well. The frames are weird and shit like that. It's always sort of hard to find those games a lot of times you're just having to look them up so there's a whole gold mine i think at atlas and i think sega's finally realizing that with how much attention they're getting now with the ports the strong community that we have here guys it's so good and i love to see the enthusiasm so many people commenting on posts i made people talking on the comments other content creators I've been talking to, we're all really, really interested to see what happens next. So hopefully we start to see some more attention when it comes to Atlas just as a company. I personally think they could utilize Atlas in a lot of ways because they have just the Atlas Studio, but they also have the P Studios as well, which is just dedicated to the Persona series alone. Somewhere around the production of Persona 4 is when they sort of broke off and had their whole own P Studios and a little do people actually know P Studios actually has a lot to do with Catherine as well because Catherine was the sort of building box for the new HD engine which they ended up using for Persona 5 strangely enough which I'm going to be having a video like that coming out soon sort of describing how the inception of that came to be but I think that's it for this video guys I just sort of wanted to mark this I think as a good accomplishment for the community and the fan base in general I think we did an amazing job not only just in sales but just support for the company because i think there's a lot of people out there who would really love to see a lot more stuff coming out from just atlas in general but like comment subscribe for more content guys i will see you on the next video thank you so much for watching